I'm curious about something though. You and I share something in common. You also used to be a professional dancer. I, that's how I got my, my start in, in Can this you career. tell us about that? Yeah, I went to a performing arts school uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, and from there uh, I went on to move to LA and I danced in music videos, I danced in a company, I, I, I'm a classically trained modern dancer. And How did you make that transition into acting? You know, um, I was always someone, I, I was a very proactive type A plus, right, <laughs> and, right. uh, and so I, I just followed my passion and one thing led to another and I, I have a little bit of a unique story in that people will ask me, you know, how did you get your start? And I'm like, oh, you can't look at me because I went from right. dancing <laughs> and, the, and those credits helped me get into the room for acting and then things sure. moved pretty, pretty quickly for me. But, but it's a, certainly it's a, unique, it's a unique path. Speaking yeah. of following your passion, uh, something you're very passionate about is being an advocate for animals yeah. and animal rescue. You even started a group called the Pet Matchmaker. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, the Pet Matchmaker can be found online at thepetmatchmaker.com, and that's where uh, it's primarily based right now, other than my own personal work wherever, wherever I travel. But our whole goal is to get people to um, understand the finding the best pet for them and then give them the information they need to keep that pet for their whole lives. You know, there are four to six million animals euthanized every year in our shelter system, and so we want to get that number way, way, way down. And right. you yourself have five pets. I do, though. That's I, amazing. I, thank you. I, I just put my oldest girl down oh. two weeks ago. She was, she was very ill, so. But um, she, of course, lives with me in my heart forever, and it's part of life. Sorry to hear that. Well, do you yeah. think more people then should adopt pets, obviously? Oh, for sure. For sure. I, I, I do not advocate anything but. Right. Yeah. And where can people go to get more information about adopting pets? ThePetMatchmaker.com. There you go. Uh -huh. there <laughs> you go. Uh, you're also on the board of other pet rescues. You partner yeah. regularly with groups that are involved in pet rescue. What started this passion for you? Where did you discover, this is something I'm gonna put my energy towards? Oh gosh, um, I've loved animals my entire life, and I think like most people, I had no idea what was happening to them. And then once I started you know, getting out in the world with acting, and I started getting invited to a lot of different events, I just showed up because I, I like getting involved, and then I felt like I wasn't really having an impact, and I wanted a single platform. So I went online and I saw what was happening to animals. Again, I had no idea. It rattled me to my core and that was uh, almost about 10 years ago. And ever since, every spare moment is devoted to them. And now you're making such a difference. You know, JD and I both want to ask you because we have sons who are obsessed with Star Wars. Oh, yes, no. you're a Star Wars fan, right? <laughs> you're a Star Wars fanatic. Yes, but like the original one, which right. is right. What, number four. Right, really. well here's my question because we were talking about introducing your kids to Star Wars. Do you do four, five, six, then one, two, three, or do you start one, two, three, four, I five, six? I have a very six? strong opinion about this, oh, no. but I want to know what the line says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is no one, two, three. That's, uh -huh. that's the answer. I love you. I, I love don't you. know what one, two, right? three was. Right? Well, I mean, well, really, what is that? Because there is only four, five, six we'll throw in there, but really four and five. Yeah, but there's, yeah. now there's going to be a seven in 2015. Uh, I know. Yeah, I know. I I'll be know. interested to see. We did, at my house, we did four, five, six. And then we did one, two, three because of the same, obsession. Same. And now, and now we're waiting for parts. Of, will you, will you line up and go see the new Star Wars when it comes out? Well, of course I will. But <laughs> yeah. I, again, like they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to do some serious damage control as I far know. as I'm concerned. They gotta raise their game. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, thank you they so do. much, Elaine Hendricks. It's just sex. It's currently playing at the Actors Temple until August 18th. So go check it out if you're in the New York area.